I am so excited to share this with you. So it is really early in the morning. It's like 644. I have a long, long day ahead of me. One thing I want to do is get my boots repaired. So I have had these boots for years, 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 years. They're really worn out. And the other day I noticed that they're coming apart here at the bottom. So I am going to find a shoe repair place, a cobbler, and get these repaired because I want them to keep living. I love these shoes or these boots. They're my favorite. So that's one thing I'm doing today. And I'm going to be gone all day. So I'm starting this vlog in the kitchen because I'm about to leave and I wanted to grab my lunch. So I went to this sandwich shop the other day and I've never been there before. It was really good. And the sandwich was about like this long, but they also had cake. So I got the sandwich and then I also purchased a slice of cake. They cut the sandwich in half. I sat in the car and I was just enjoying the day eating. So I ate half the sandwich and then I was like, mm, let me try this cake. And my intention was just, you know, just to take a little off the top and see. I ended up eating the whole slice of cake and then I didn't want to finish the rest of my sandwich. I was like full. So I put the sandwich in the refrigerator and I hope it's still okay. Because my plan is to finish this today. Ooh, it looks a little dry. Oh my goodness. But I'm going to try it anyway because I don't want to waste it. So I'm actually going to take this with me. And when I'm ready to eat it, I'll have it. So I went through my sewing patterns and I picked up New Look 6740 and this is the pattern that I want to make next. So after looking at the pattern, my plan is to make View B and I believe that the model is wearing View B but she has this little dicky on under it. So yes, what you will need is some fabric for the dress and then you need some contrasting fabric for this bottom hem area and also around the neckline and even around the sleeves here for view B. I am going to use this ribbed knit fabric for the contrasting fabric and then I plan to use this knit fabric for the main body of the dress. One thing that I was surprised to learn is that there is actually a zipper in this pattern and the zipper goes, I believe it's right here on the side of the dress. The pattern does state that you need a zipper but it doesn't say what kind of zipper and when I looked inside the envelope it looks like you will need a separating zipper so that's what I purchased. When I was at Joann's I was looking through the zippers and I couldn't find a zipper that was hanging up so I pulled open the drawer and I was able to find a zipper in the drawer and it says that it's for evening wear and bustiers but I figured I could just use it anyway. I thought it matched nicely with the fabric. So hopefully this zipper will work out okay. This pattern is rated as easy. I sewed the shoulder seams and then I attached the neckband around the edge of the neckline. And then now I'm going to go ahead and get ready to sew the sleeves on. And there are notches and there are dots to help you line everything up. And I also cut out a size six. So this shouldn't take too long to complete. I think the longest part may be putting in the separating zipper. So the sleeves were put together and sewn in one long stitch from the wrist all the way down to the hem. And then there are actually gathers. I didn't realize that, but there are gathers that go around the sleeve. And then I need to stitch this together so that I can put the sleeve band on. I did it on this side. So I did the gathers and I put the sleeve band on. So this is how it's looking so far. And I'm going to go ahead and do the other side. 
the top of the dress is done and now I'm going to go ahead and start working on the contrasting bottom portion of the dress and this is the upper band and I'm just going to stitch around this edge here. So yesterday I sewed the top portion of the dress and then I took a break and I never did turn in those boots. Remember I was going to go get my boots fixed the other day? I didn't end up doing that. So what I'm going to do today before I get started on this dress is I am going to actually really, really go and drop my boots off. I had so many other things to do that day that I just didn't get around to it. So anyway, I wanted to come in here and try this on and just see how it's looking so far. And then when I get back, I'll just go ahead and start working on the bottom. And oh, okay, I was wondering just how short this was going to be. So this gives me a little idea of how it's going to look. Okay, that's not too bad. Yay! So I can't wait to come and get started on this. And I think this is going to be really, really nice and warm. So it'll be perfect for the winter, fall season. Alright, so I am about to attach the bands together. This is the upper band and it gets attached to the under band. So there should be a dot on the side here and also on the side over here on the under band. And I'm going to match the corners and then I'm going to essentially just baste from dot to dot. So I'll match all this up here, the corners, and then base from this dot up, over, and around, and down to this dot here. Step number 21 has you baste the zipper down. And I just used wash away tape and stuck it down. So this is a sticky tape. It's got a bunch of lint on it, so please don't mind that. But I stuck the tape down and then stuck the zipper to the tape. And I left it long, so I'm hoping that I'll be able to just trim this later without you know, regretting the fact that I didn't shorten the zipper beforehand. So we'll see how that works. This is the upper band and you take the upper band and then you fold it up and match the corners up here and then stitch down and there should be a dot there. And then you will just repeat these steps on the other side of the band for the other side of the zipper. The zipper is in and it still hasn't been trimmed yet. I am going to go ahead and put this band onto the dress and I marked a pin on the left side because that's the side that the zipper goes on and I was kind of confused on which side it was. So the pin is just going to help me. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick this in here and line up the side seams, line up the zipper on the side seam and then match the edges stitch all the way around and then the dress will be done the zipper went in just fine and i can go in and trim the excess now the zipper does zip from the hem of the dress going upwards but i kind of feel like the zipper should zip from the top of the zipper down to the hem but that may just be a personal preference Before I go, I want to leave you with a love share that is in this box. Oh, I am so excited to share this with you. So, this is something that I think I'm going to love. And I think you might really like it and maybe even love it too. So, wait until you see this. Now this is something I am going to have to put together. So let's see what's in here. All these little pieces. But there's one part that when I get to it, 
you'll see what it is without me having to put anything together. So let me put the little pieces to the side and pull out this part right here. Oh, that's it. It's only three pieces all together. Okay, that's not bad. I might be able to put this together myself. We'll see. Oh, so I, I shared in one of my videos before that I love like miniature things, things that are little. Oh my goodness, look at this. Okay, this is a half scale dress form. I was trying to wait until I opened it, but oh, look at this. So my full scale is a six and this is a half scale six. This is super duper cute. What I love about it is you can stick pins in it. So it's like a replica of the big one. So I will link this below if you're interested. I am loving it already. I think it's super cute and I cannot wait to pull out my scraps and start playing around.